Now, uh, five hours, 36 minutes into the spacewalk, are Temiev and Christopher Reddy uh, making their way down uh, the Strela boom to uh, await further instructions from the flight controllers in Korolev that you see working at their consoles in this view from a balcony camera in the Russian control center. We uh, are in between uh, downlink TV capabilities on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll regain that video downlink capability a few minutes from now. The uh, two spacewalkers are uh, working uh, diligently, although uh, they're by the clock. They are running uh, somewhat behind the timeline. And uh, the Russian flight controllers are evaluating what additional work is in the offing for Artemiev and Christopher Reddy for the rest of today's excursion. Stay here, and you could probably, well, they don't want to take my proposal. Maybe if you propose to do this, maybe they will accept. Okay, stand by. So I'll need to get down. This is a transfer. Mm -hmm. All right. Так. All right. Alex Samantha. Alex Samantha. Да. Yes. Ну, где вы находитесь сейчас? Where are you now? Так, мы находимся на ПХО. Он ПХО. До конца не доехал. Not till the end yet. We stopped in front of Handrail 6080 and ready for transfer. Go ahead then. Oh, not like this. Okay, where is your hook? Guys, are you on MRM2? Say again. Are you on MRM2? Are we supposed to translate to MRM2? Well, you left Strela arriving on MRM2 to the shortcut. Handrail. Well, I am on the handrail 6019 and 6008, and Samantha is about to join me here. Copy. Please report when you arrive at the shortcut handrail. Copy. Okay, Samantha, hand me a hook. Uh, 
одной рукой держится, а второй может... Hold on with one hand and use the other hand to give me the hook. Got caught on something. Okay, please take it. Please take the hook, and I am going to release you. Okay. I don't need to pull, right? Okay, hold it. Here is my hand. Okay. Okay, left of Strela. Okay, please release. Yes, release. Like this. Yes. Okay, and so you have two attachment points. Okay, is there something holding? Okay, let me take a look. Did you say something got, got stuck? Yes, around the glitter. Олег, Саманта, у нас сейчас прогнозируется в ближайшее время перерыв связи на 4 минуты. Alex Samantha, we're coming up on a five minute LOS. Okay. Uh, we will be back with you after the LOS. I'll copy. Loud and clear. Copy that. So, are we at the shortcut handrail? Yes, it is right here. He got my hook. Actually, hold on. I go around. Next one. Yes. Okay, let's do it. There you go. Okay, then now the second one. Okay, I see you have it in your hand. Okay, three more centimeters. Now let go. And oh, it, it goes around the lanyard. Oh, I see you. It's not good going under it. Okay, let's try this. I am giving this back to you. Okay. 
Alex, I'm on, sir. Да, она связи. Go ahead. Сейчас было принято решение, что мы идем домой. A decision has been made just now to turn around and go back to the EV hatch. Then we need to swap the retainer. No, it will be needed for the next EVA. So what is the time? Twenty thirty five. Inaudible. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 47 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Russian flight controllers uh, will be uh, letting the crew wrap up their final work for the day. A decision made not to extend uh, the Strela boom number two from the Zarya module all the way up to the Poisk module as had been intended as the final major task of today's spacewalk. Uh, that uh, can be deferred without impact of future operations to another day. Now that uh, the camera uh, light unit window has been replaced, which was an important task for the European robotic arms acuity, and that uh, in the, still in the process of being checked out, but that task having been completed, the uh, likelihood here is that um, the two uh, spacewalkers will begin to make their way back towards the Poisk module hatch and uh, gather their tools and tethers and begin to take inventory in preparation for climbing back inside to wrap up today's spacewalk. Alec, we are going back. A decision has been made, unfortunately. Because of the lack of time, we are terminating early. How copy? We copy, copy you now. Okay, Alex, Samantha, a decision has been made that we are terminating because of the suit life support system constraints. Okay, guys, take a, take a break. After the break, start translating towards the EV hatch. We will have some work to do there. Well, if we are terminating one hour early, we may have time to bring the cube back. No, this is out of the question. We we have calculated that we will not have enough time for this. Okay, we are at five hours now. Five fifty.
А время работы с ИЖО уже почти 8 часов, даже чуть больше может. And for the uh, cooling garment, the, upper, the elapsed time is almost 8 hours. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston. Five hours, 51 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Just to recap, the Russian flight controllers in Korolyov at the Russian Mission Control Center have instructed the crew to begin to wrap up work and uh, make their way back towards the uh, Poisk airlock hatch, not uh, completing uh, the final task, uh, which was uh, to have been uh, the extension of one of two uh, telescoping booms from the uh, Zarya module to the Poisk module to facilitate future spacewalking tasks. That uh, activity will be deferred to a future spacewalk. The uh, two spacewalkers, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy, completed the uh, deployment of 10 nanosatellites, part of uh, a radio electronics experiment. They installed a platform with adapters on the uh, Naoka module uh, for future uh, use and the uh, relocation of the airlock for Naoka that is currently uh, housed on the Rosviad module of the International Space Station. They uh, also installed a, an adapter uh, on uh, the uh, Poisk module on one of the uh, fixture points uh, in which uh, other hardware will be mounted uh, on future Russian spacewalks. They replaced a protective window on one of two identical camera light units on uh, the European robotic arm's end effector, one of two such end effectors on the arm, and uh, they set an external control panel into a stowage or hibernation mode until it is relocated also on a future Russian spacewalk. A great view from uh, the HD camera on Samantha Christopher Reddy's suit of the uh, Expedition 67 commander, Oleg Artemiev, who now is in the home stretch of the sixth spacewalk of his career. Christopher Reddy uh, etched her name into the history books today by becoming the first European woman and the fourth European overall to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian spacesuit. Jean-Luc Chrétien, Thomas Reiter, who did two such spacewalks, and Jean-Pierre Hanier in 1999 was the last European to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian Orlan suit. Inaudible. Uh, checking if you are still there. Yes, we have about 10 meters to reach Strela.
Пека, можешь еще, пожалуйста, поснимать с твоего ракурса ФГБ и мим второй? Олег, can you please take some photographs of the FGB, FGB and MRM2 with the installed adapter from your current position? Okay, I took some and I will do more. We have Strela right in front of us. I know. Uh, in just two hook swaps, we could have reached it. Well, I am not the one to, convi to convince about that, but unfortunately it's time to start translating back to EV hatch. How about this? Like Samantha said, we are in the direct line of sight. I can simply raise the strela and we can do what we need to do. No, Oleg, negative. We are going back. Okay. Too bad. We would have already completed it. We've hit the six-hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev and uh, Samantha Christopher Reddy are uh, soon uh, to return to the uh, confines of the Poisk airlock. Close the hatch. That will mark the official end of today's spacewalk. We will have updated statistics for you at that time. This uh, spacewalk uh, by Artemiev and Christopher Reddy designed uh, to continue the outfitting of uh, the European robotic arm and associated hardware that uh, sets the stage for work uh, that will be conducted both on the arm and for the arm and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module on upcoming Russian spacewalks. How about this? Yes, I can see it. Thank you very much. Do you see everybody? Yes, we see everyone. So you see, and with all that, you're not letting us to get to the Strela. If we reached Strela, this box would have flown on Strela. Well, we'll, we'll have the opportunity. I'm telling you, we could have completed everything while, we, while the, everybody is thinking. No, we're done thinking. Decision has been made. We're going back to the EV hatch. Что 
начнем движение. So shall we start translating? Да мы как бы не уставали, только начали. Well, we are not really tired. We were just getting started, so yes, we can do it. Okay, leaving FGB. So, how do you want to go? Via MRM or not not the Strela, right? Right, do not use Strela for translation. Okay, so going the other way. Okay, Samantha, let's go back. Okay. Looks like you will reach MRM in just a couple of swaps. Okay, we have this test unscrewed. Shall we screw it in? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the two samplers, uh, the test, testing samplers. Might have a good opportunity to screw them in. Okay, Oleg, stand by, let me find out. Okay, the answer is negative. Uh, we're, we continue the exposure of the samplers. I understand, but I'm just saying that one of them is properly installed and the other one is loose. Oh, if, if a test, testing sampler is loose, then it makes sense to secure it. Right, in the frame. Yes, I understand. If if it's not too far, then please go ahead and do it. Oh, you don't see it on the camera? Okay, now now we, I, we see the lower one. Okay, let me... Depart FGB, so now you can see it, right? 
the one below. This one? No, the one here. I will dismount FGB and screw it in here. The one that is dangling around with all its microbes. But this tiny piece? No. This uh, test article that is trying to find extraterrestrial beings. Okay. Goodbye, FGB. All right, I'm leaving FGB now. Copy, Oleg. Here it is, the test. This is Mission Control Houston, Oleg Artemiev, uh, by the uh, Poisk module on the International Space Station, uh, securing uh, a piece of loose hardware on the outside of the module itself. On the opposite side of this view is the hatchway to the airlock, to which uh, he and Samantha Christopher Reddy will make their way inside a short time from now, close the hatch to complete today's spacewalk. Oleg, uh, is the thread not cooperating? Yes, the thread was um, cut off. Okay, Oleg, then in that case, just use the wire tie and then just uh, put it around, tighten it up uh, to the frame, secure it in place. Uh, the sample light. Yes. Yes, I wouldn't be able to make the new thread here, so let's uh, 
secure it in place with a wire tie? All right, that's a good plan. Looks good. Oleg, if you said that you've made a new thread, then just leave it as is. What if it falls off? No, I have the wire tie. I spend my time doing that. So I'll put it in place. I have the wire tie in my hands. Copy. Now it will stay in place, all right, let's go.
Саманта, once you reach the hatch, please uh, proceed uh, further inside of the transfer handrail, because uh, Oleg will be the first coming into the space station, so ingressing. But before you guys do that, we will look at the inventory of what we've got, as well as uh, we'll look at the spacesuits. Copy? We'll do. Oleg, I think you've attached your BRT tether. Well, yes, to the transfer. That's the transfer tether. Yes, we can attach to them. We have quite a few, and we've used them quite a few times today also. All right, I copy. Because the segment is pretty long, that is actually helping us to have those tethers in place. I'm talking about the segment. When I talk about the segment, I'm meaning the segment of the handrail is long. All right. That sounds good, and I'm also attached to the transfer handrail. Uh, Samantha, we copy, so we'll be waiting for Oleg to catch up. The uh, two spacewalkers, Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christoforetti, uh, soon will re-enter the uh, Poisk airlock and close the hatch to mark uh, the end of today's spacewalk, in which uh, they deployed 10 nanosatellites to collect data on uh, radio electronics. They also installed a variety of hardware along the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and uh, the Poisk module that uh, will be used to facilitate future Russian spacewalking tasks in association uh, with the outfitting of the European robotic arm. The uh, protective window on one of two camera light units on one of uh, the two identical end effectors on the European robotic arm was replaced and uh, the external control panel for the operation of that robotic arm was placed into a stowage or hibernation mode prior to its relocation to another area of the Naoka module on the next Russian spacewalk.
Олег Саманта, располагайте друг напротив друга. Олег Саманта, please position yourselves uh, opposite each other. So we'll start doing the inventory and uh, looking in the suits. We copy. Everything is clean on this end. All right. What about this one? So is your camera no longer working? The glitter one? Okay, then. But remember that you also have a camera at the hatch interface. And we're waiting for your reports, guys. All right? Do you have a checklist or something? What shall we report? Yes, it's a small checklist. So let's uh, inspect the spacesuits first. All right? Let's do it. We'll be telling you about the spacesuits now. The front is clean. The side on the left is clean as well. Artyom, just ask questions. We'll respond. Or how would you like us to report? Everything is fine with us here. We copy. So you're saying that we don't need to clean the spacesuits? Well, we see small damage, but everything is good. Okay, let's look at the hardware then. So we should have three adjustable tethers. Uh, opposite from MRM. Yes, and they're visible, one and two. One. Keeper, one. Yes, and I see the second one also. It's in place. Okay. And uh, crew lock bags are on you. Yes, I confirm. I have two crew lock bags on me. Yes, and the wretched wrench is inside. And four reds, one for the cutter, one is for the wretched wrench, and one is for something else. Yes. Let me look. Give me just a second. Let me review and verify. One, two. Three. Yes. Let, give me just another second. Let me verify to make sure. Mm 
Yes, I've got four. We copy. And two cameras, NASA GoPro. One is on the bracket. Yes. That is correct. Then let's go to the exterior hardware. OTA. Yes, I confirm the OTA. And swing arm. I have it. It's in place. Samantha, do you have it? Yes, I do. Glisser. I've got it. It's in place. Yes. The range. A ratchet range. I haven't seen it. Let me verify. It should be on the bottom. Samantha, can you please have a look? Yes, the ratchet range. Ratchet range. All right. It might be under the swing arm. Uh, I might have covered it with all the tethers I have. I don't see it yet. Just let me turn around. Move this way. Somewhere uh, on the lower side, on the lower part, towards the bottom. I don't see it yet. I don't see it. Maybe it's just uh, hanging somewhere in the bottom. Do you see it? Behind the tethers? Do you see it? No, I don't see it yet. Maybe you've switched it and placed it in the crew log bag? Okay, let me look inside the crew log bag to make sure. Maybe it is there. Who knows? Let me have a look. Uh, in five minutes, we'll have the orbital day. I see one ratchet wrench, just one, and the second one is the ESA one. And then I see another wrench. Is that the ratchet wrench that we're supposed to confirm? Yes. Sounds good. Let me see what else. Six and a half hours into uh, the spacewalk, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy are uh, conducting an inventory of their tools and tethers before they uh, make their way back inside the Poisk airlock to wrap up today's spacewalk which was the 251st in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades, the sixth out of the International Space Station this year, the third for Expedition 67, the sixth for Artemiev, and the first for Christopher Reddy, who today became the fourth European astronaut to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian Orlan suit. On ERA? Samantha, do you have them? Yes. I have two, and I have two, and also I have a bunch of other things, says Oleg. I have two hooks, yes. Everything should be in place. Oleg, in that case, let's go inside MRM2. All right, so give me just a second. Samantha, can you lift your leg? Do you want to go with your feet first? No, no, no. Artyom, we have a ring. 
left. We need to secure the ring, otherwise it will escape. Do you see the ring? Samantha, do you see it? Yes, the ring. Which ring? The ring that we took a ride on, because we didn't ride to the end, because we got off halfway. That is why this ring needs to be secured. Either with a tether, or we should secure it on the strella. Samantha, we need to do something. The length is pretty limited. All right. Let's swap our places. Let's just, uh, I take your space and you take mine. All right. Samantha. Yes. I'm here. Just looking at the time. So this message, the cartridge is working. So the computer is showing that it's actually by default it shows that the cartridge uh, works during nine hours and now it's ten hours already. So that's why it's an automatic message. It's not a problem. All right, let's put the crew lock bag inside so we don't have to carry it in and out. Crew lock bag is inside the airlock. Samantha, let me just move and I'm going to fly over you. All right, and I'm moving away. Will that work? Just don't uh, touch the strela with your feet, please. I will, and we had a drop and calm. All right, we copy. Samantha, I'll tell you that in about 30 minutes, you will have CO2 check, so that's generated automatically. Oleg will start getting similar messages as well, so that is to be expected. So when in 30 minutes or so you get the message, that's expected. All right. And let me move this way a little bit more. And I'm holding it. I've accepted it on this side. I have one hook on the cargo boom.
I got the ring. And the ring is secured. Six hours, 39 minutes into uh, the spacewalk. Artemi Evan Cristoforetti now climbing back inside uh, the Poisk airlock. They will soon close the hatch to mark the official start, or the official end of today's excursion. We'll be uh, calculating uh, the elapsed time for you once we confirm that with the Russian flight controllers in Korolyov. And then the repressurization of the airlock will get underway. Samantha, Samantha, how do you read me? How we can, we can hear you. I don't know if you heard me that uh, the ring is secured. I heard you, but I thought that you did. Hear me. Turn on your helmet light. Camera. I mean camera. Helmet. Hiki will not be needed. Turn it off. Okay. Is mine? Oh, I just turned it on. Samantha, it got deactivated. It was working before on you. I think it's off. You want help? No, I'm okay. So it stopped working, right? Okay, good. Perfect. I'll go inside MRM. No, it's still working, Samantha says. So the nominal camera may be operating. Yes, Urkas can be uh, kept operating. Okay. So one hook is already in the airlock. Great. And the second one, the second hook, I will, I'm going to put in there too. Uh, I think. Let's fold the camera first. It can be done a bit later because we'll be working with 
sublimators. You get in, then Samantha. And then we'll do the camera folding. Okay. Uh, both hooks are in the airlock. Copy. So I'm like halfway in, in the in the airlock now. Up to my knees in the airlock. Just uh, tell me now when you're up to your feet in the airlock. Okay, up to my feet. All right. Okay, my heels are inside. Great. Inside now. Uh, Samantha, uh, start on moving into MRM. Okay, uh, Samantha, uh, just, just, just a second. Let me just tidy up a little bit. The reds and the, and the shoot tether. Okay. The long tether is here and the shoot one not yet. And the covers, I just moved them out of the way. Both crew members inside uh, the Poisk airlock, they're simply rearranging all the equipment they brought back inside with them before they uh, begin the process of closing the hatch that will mark the end of today's spacewalk. Well, actually, it may get hooked up, so let me move. I moved the crew lock out of the way, and you said the camera will fold later, right? Yes. So the pathway for Samantha to get in is free. Okay, so Samantha, go ahead, get inside. The shoot tether uh, secured inside. Yes. And the second one on me, right? 
I do not need to put it inside the handrail. Onto the handrail. While you are outside, you will need to connect to handrail. Okay. A little bit more. You see to make sure not to kick the camera uh, with your foot out. Okay. Okay, I'm inside the airlock. Activate sublimators. So I need to uh, place myself in the best position. We'll still have 10 minutes. We will remove the protective ring and move. Okay, someone. So take this camera. Camera? No, 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 no. The the uh, circular ring, the circular. It's but well, actually, no. Use the sh the long one for now, and then you can t take the short one. You mean, you, you know, no, no, no. Keep keep this one connected. This one connected and. Uh, Hook it on and, and use this one, okay? So the long one is uh, disconnect. Okay, we can use it later. Shall I put it on myself for now? Yes. My feet are too high. Okay, we'll need to turn off the sublimator. And what about crew look back? Can you just connect it? Uh, it is uh, connected next to you, next to my tether. Okay. That will be more room for us. Now let's work with the sublimators. Okay, we are turning off sublimators, right? No, we are turning them off right now, off. Go ahead. Now down. 
Принято, Олег, Саманта, приступаем к снятию защитного... Олег, now uh, start removing protective ring. Хорошо. Окей. Okay. Геннадий, do we need to do anything with STR? Yes. No, no, it's not accurate. accurate. See, now you can turn off the toggle switch and you are in the manual setting already. And what's next? Uh, did you say to fold the camera? No. Uh, it shouldn't be in the way. You start removing the protective ring now. Well, it is right on the edge right here. Yeah, it needs to be folded, absolutely. Uh, now, turn it to the left. Uh, what should be my action? Uh -huh. All right. Uh, taking off the camera. Now removing the ring. This is Mission Control Houston coming up uh, very close now to the seven hour mark in today's spacewalk, but we're in the final minutes as uh, the two uh, spacewalkers, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy, remove the protective ring around the circumference of the hatch to the Poisk airlock that they installed right at the start of today's spacewalk to prevent any damage to the ceiling surface of that hatch uh, while uh, the hatch was open to the vacuum of space. Copy, Alec. Now uh, look at the uh, MRM and the cover surface. Examine the interfaces. I think it's available, yes. Okay, the hatch is uh, free of fat or debris. Uh, now, remove uh, the tether from 205, partly cover the hatch cover and do not latch. I would probably leave some more room. Okay. 
Лучше, Борис, конечно, на время сушки. And the string. Олег, можешь, пожалуйста, еще выключить ярку? Can you turn off ERK as well? Ярко, ага. Хорошо. Хорошо. Он уже не показывает, да? Нет, не показывает. So it's not showing anything, right? It's not transmitting images anyway. So the drying is nominal, I see. Принято. Саманта, сушка нормал. Саманта, so you got a message, drying nominal, right? Normal. Samantha, did I understand correctly that you received a message still drying normal? Yes, I received the same message. Copy. You can close the hatch now. And that's the ring here, okay. Yes. Which ring? Oh, the one that we have removed. Closing the hatch. So we can close it now. Okay, I'm in the process of closing the hatch. Okay. Copy. So the rollers are getting into the groove. Okay. Shall I hold it? Yes. Let me hold it here.
Is anything in the way? No, nothing is in the way. Just my position is such that... Okay. I got the signal. What? What exactly? I got one as well. Are the rollers getting in? We have uh, limited cartridge messages, both of us, and we are closing the hatch. Yes. Uh, this is just time wise. Nine hours after nine hours, you get this message. This is nominal. I already mentioned it to Samantha. Uh, after you um, don the suit. Okay, let me get a bit closer. Richard, I can hear, and uh, the rollers are closed. Uh, the hatch is closed. Yes, the rollers are in, and uh, Richard operated. Alex, Samantha, congratulations. With your seven hours and six minutes EVA, you did everything great. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you, Artyom. All the tasks were successful, including IRA. We started it and we started it up. And we cleared up a lot of room. So thank you very much for your hard work. Oh, thank you. And everybody next to you. Now I'm giving you to Dima and Dimitri and uh, have a good reverse air locking. All right. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center confirm that the hatch to the Poisk airlock is now closed, marking the official end of today's spacewalk at 4.55 p.m. Central Time, 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time. The spacewalk elapsed time, seven hours, five minutes. Seven hours, five minutes for today's spacewalk. We will uh, have uh, statistics for you uh, momentarily. Again, uh, hatch closed at uh, 4.55 p.m. Central Time, marking the official end of today's spacewalk at seven hours and five minutes. And Sergey, we we'll ask you to get connected as well. All right. Copy, thank you. Oh, 
там отдельная книжка. This is a книзу черный фрагмент. Separate book. А весь набор начинается с фрагмента девять. Starting from uh, format nine. Copy. Airlock operations. I am being turned around. Let me see. Something is holding me. Alex Samantha. Alex Samantha. Turn off ASTR. Toggle switch. Okay, done. Operator one off. Prieta. Copy. Alex, yes. Can you move uh, towards me? Turn towards me. So, can you help me with this toggle switch, STR toggle switch? Oh, yes. Is it off at this time? No. Uh, Dmitry, uh, we're ready for your recommendations. Oligate, you're ready. You can start step four in Q card 10. Run to repress to 260 millimeters. Copy. Okay, SD2 is closed, KSD SO valve closed, KSD SO indication is not illuminated. Uh, so, should we send by for uh, IV report? Uh, well, he has already reported that the hatches are closed. Okay. Okay, great. Deactivating the EV support panel. Uh, all right, so uh, we're supposed to uh, repress uh, the module to 260. This is Mission Control Houston with uh, statistics uh, in the wake of the completion of today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopher Reddy. The uh, spacewalk uh, today began at 9.50 a.m. Central Time. 
and concluded at 4.55 p.m. Central Time for an elapsed time of seven hours and five minutes. This was the 251st spacewalk in support of space station assembly, maintenance and upgrades, the sixth conducted out of the ISS this year and the third during Expedition 67. This was the sixth spacewalk uh, in the uh, career of Oleg Artemyev, who has now logged 41 hours and 44 minutes of spacewalking time. This again, the first for Samantha Christopher Reddy, who today became the fourth European and the first European woman to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian Orlan suit. And of course, her total matched today's elapsed time of seven hours, five minutes. The 251 spacewalks in support of station assembly maintenance and upgrades have now totaled 1,590 hours and 49 minutes, which is the equivalent of 70 days, 5 hours and 49 minutes. And the three spacewalks now conducted during Expedition 67 have totaled 21 hours and 24 minutes. We are standing by uh, for the repressurization of the uh, Poisk airlock. The uh, spacewalkers today uh, deployed 10 nano satellites uh, to uh, collect data on uh, radio electronics for researchers back on Earth. They uh, moved uh, adapters and platforms on both the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and uh, the Poisk module in support uh, and staging of equipment for future Russian spacewalks, uh, particularly to outfit the European robotic arm. In regard to the arm itself, they replaced a uh, window, a protective window, on uh, one of two camera light units uh, that uh, are affixed uh, to uh, each of the two end effectors or hands of the 37-foot-long European robotic arm and uh, tied down some other equipment uh, in association with uh, the staging of equipment and payloads that will be uh, enacted and uh, deployed on future Russian spacewalks. Again, today's spacewalk ending at 4.55 p.m. Central, 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time at 7 hours and 5 minutes. Uh, the pressure reaches 260. Uh, Oleg, please use control panel uh, 2 to send the commands uh, to uh, KVD uh, PHOS valve. Module pressure is 210. Uh, suit pressure is 0 0.09. Uh, EV2 suit pressure is uh, uh, 0 0.09. Copy. Module pressure is uh, 230, and uh, suit pressure is uh, 0 0.06 for uh, Commander and uh, 0 0.06 uh, for EV2. Module pressure is 250. Uh, EV1 set pressure is 0 0.04. Copy. Uh, once the pressure reaches 260, uh, your goal to close the KVD uh, Module pressure is uh, 260 millimeters. Closing KVD uh, uh, pressure equalization valve uh, is closed. The command uh, has been sent. The LED is no longer illuminated. 
and uh, we uh, are disabling uh, the valve now and it is now complete copy what is the uh, under pressure gauge pressure in MRM2 MRM2 pressure is uh, 260 millimeters 261, 261, copy. Uh, Sergey, and what is the pH pressure reading at the beginning of pressure stabilization? There is a an MV pressure gauge installed on the uh, KKT valve. The uh, pressure reading in uh, PHO is 792. Uh, please repeat. 792. Повтори, 392 Did you say 392? Uh, you are coming in unintelligible. It's two nine two. Uh, copy, uh, Sergey. Uh, five minutes stabilization. And you have five minutes for uh, pressure stabilization. And uh, like you can switch to cue card eleven. Transition to onboard power. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the repressurization of the uh, Poisk airlock continues under the watchful eye of uh, the Russian flight control team in Korolyov that you're looking at in this uh, view from a balcony camera in the uh, large control center on the outskirts of Moscow. Again, uh, today's spacewalk ending at uh, 4.55 p.m. Central Time with an elapsed time of seven hours and five minutes for this spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti as they continued work on both the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and the Poisk module in support of the ongoing outfitting of the European robotic arm. With that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage for today. Thank you for tuning in throughout the course of the day. You can follow all of the activities of the Expedition 67 crew on uh, the web at www.nasa.gov slash station. For now, have a good evening. This is Mission Control Houston. You can, uh